here we are all ready to take you down to Pine Ridge for another visit with Lum and Abner. Brought to you by the makers of Horlicks, the original malted milk. What's happening down in Pine Ridge? Well, yesterday, Lum and Abner's new store on wheels made its first trip in Pine Ridge, making a house-to-house canvas of the entire town. The old fellows were more than delighted with the amount of business done. But after figuring the net profit for the day, they found their operating expenses had eaten up all but 27 cents of the profit. <laughs> As we look in on Pine Ridge today... We find Dick Huddleston has just brought some contest mail over to Lum at his home. And the two were discussing the new store on wheels. Listen. No, I feel better about it today. We never figured them expenses right the reason it looked like we wasn't making no money. Didn't figure them right. No, all them expenses ain't supposed to come off of just one day. Like that tire we put down, $10 and a half. That thing will last a long time. It oughtn't to come out of the profits for just one day. No, no, that's right, Lon. And figuring your profits, or expenses like that will have to be divided over a period of time. Yeah, and that's just what's got me mixed up, too. I don't know how much to charge off every day for the use of get out of the car. We don't know yet how long it's going to last. It don't last for 10 days. We have to charge a dollar a day to get a profit down the way. Oh, so, well, it lasts a lot longer than that. Yeah, I, I talked to Frank Foster about it. He bought it off the end. business. And today, too. So that made us $10.72 profit we made yesterday. And $16.10 today. Well, uh, why don't you just wait till the end of the month to figure out your profit? I'm just pretty hard to figure it day to day this way. And the only thing, I want to know just how we're standing every day. It's a new kind of business for me, and I just love to know how we're getting along. Yeah, well, that's all right to keep it straight. Uh, when are we going to start uh, some of the on some of these other towns around here? some handbills and one thing and another. Oh, I don't think that'd be necessary, Ron. Well, we better let them know somewhere, Ron, that we're coming. Drive in there with that contraption, they won't know what it is. <laughs> Scare the daylight out of them. <laughs> of course, I reckon I could call them up on the party line and explain it to them, but I don't know what to call it. Ain't got no name for it, is it? Oh, well, I expect the biggest part of them over there has heard your announcements over the party line about the contest, Ron. They already know about the store. I noticed some of those letters there that they're from Chad Hill. Uh, uh, from Terry here? Yeah. A- anybody I know over there? Well, I don't know who they're from, Lum. I just know it's a uh, postmark on there. That's about the biggest batch we've got here, ain't it? Yeah. I told you the other day they'd start coming in better the last of the week. Well, I'm so proud to see it. I know they're having a lot of fun studying up names. 
Folks out on the party line's always been nice about taking part in any sort of a contest or get up me and Abner puts on. And that's one reason I say anxious for all of them to send in a name for a store. And naturally, I want to see them all get a chance to win prizes we're giving away, too. Yeah, well, you've got some many prizes, but they've all got a good chance of winning something. And we'll soon find out who the winners are. Sunday night, the contest's over, you know. Sunday night at high midnight. Sunday night. Well, you know, if I were you, Lum, I, I believe I'd make another announcement on the party line. Remind everybody that it closes Sunday night. There's bound mm-hmm. to be a lot of folks that's got names set it up and just been neglecting the sun in. Yeah, I expect so. I've had a lot of people ask me about the contest. They all seem to think that it's got to be some trick name of some kind. They're, they're trying to make something hard out of it. Well, that's a mistake. We want to get a name that'll go with our store, all right, but we want something simple that everybody can recollect. Sure, that's the thing. And we want it to where the children sending in names will have just as good a chance as anybody else. We've got that in mind. Yeah. I, I noticed a name in there from some little girl, just, just 10 years old, some summers up in Ohio. There. <laughs> now, wouldn't you be astonished to death if you win that $150 prize? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind winning it myself, though. I could find a lot of uses for $150 right now. <laughs> somebody else could know it. Come in. Oh, come on in, Abner. Yeah, how are you today, Abner? Did Cedric get off all right, Abner? Yeah, yeah he's been going by the eye. Took a chopping axe and a chalk cut saw, and I don't know what all that is. He'd about like him to get out on one of them limbs and saw it off with him in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, I told him a dozen times which way to go. I just hope he don't get off on the wrong road. About find out that he's cleared the road, took care in Holly Springs. Couldn't get that store over them mountains in a hundred years. Oh, no. Well, he ought to know the way to carry here, all right. Yeah, he knows it. He just don't forget it. Mm-hmm. Well, if that boy ain't having the time of his life driving that store around. <laughs> <laughs> just as proud of himself as if somebody had elected him mayor of the town. <laughs> <laughs> Sets up there neat candy bars all while he's driving along. Yeah. Wonder he don't founder himself on it. Well, I told him this morning he's making a pig of himself. Well, now, I wouldn't give him too much of that. He'll eat up your profit. Oh, we ain't giving him to him. No, sir. No, we ain't giving him to him. I'm charging it to him. Setting it down on the books every time he gets one. Yeah, I was noticing today, Abner, running over the books there. He's worked two days for us now. A dollar and a half a day, that's three dollars he's got coming. And he owes us three dollars and forty cents for candy he's had up. <laughs> he's in the hole already, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He's one of the best customers we got. You know, Lom, we ought to raise his wages. I, I believe we can get more business out of it. Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> sure is. <laughs> and, and there's a new batch of letters Dick brung over for the contest. All them is names for a new store? Yeah, I think so, Edna. It's going to take me my now all night to read them things, too. Yeah, it will, though. It's right interesting, though. It, it, some of the outdoing its names, they do think of. Yeah. Uh, one I sat here last night and just laughed by myself reading it. Yeah, I bet it is, but I'd like to keep some of them myself. And some of them is wrote little notes to me and Adam. Yeah. That's what I like to read. Yeah, me too. <laughs> They're all so friendly and nice. Yeah, that's good. Uh, don't forget, sir, you're going to make another announcement on the party line, now. Uh, oh, yeah. Another yeah. announcement. Yeah, I better do that before I let it slip my mind, too. Leave our call Doc Miller's ring this time. That always gets them to the phone. Yeah, well, that'll get enough of them. They want to see who's calling the doctor to find out who's put down sick. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, well, I'm telling them that they got the store all finished now. Just waiting to paint the name out across both sides of it. Okay. I'll be glad when we get a name for it. I'm tired of calling it it and the store and fix it out. Everybody asks me what kind of business we're in. No, I can't hardly tell them. All I can tell them is run the store. I can't tell them a name out there. Wait a minute, Dad. Folks are looking at me. I'm taking down the lease. Oh, sorry. You better go ahead, Dad. Nobody wants no beef steak. (laughs) Howdy, everybody. Uh, This is Lum Edwards down in Pine Ridge. I know where he's at. I just uh, give the doctor's ring in to get you to order the telephone. I've got an announcement to make about the contest we're putting on to get a name for a store on wheels. You know, uh, the contest closes next Sunday night, so we want you all to get busy now and start sending in a name for it. Yeah, we've already got a lot of good names, but we've got a lot of prizes, too. We collect that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody's going to have an awful good chance to win something, even the children. You know, they might have good hands for setting up names for things like that. Uh, Lom. It, it don't have to be no hard name. Just some little old simple name might be the very one that'll win the prize. Uh, Lom. Lom. What is it, what is it? Uh, 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 let, let me say something to him while they're listening in there. Oh, get up. Why, uh, uh, why, uh, uh, 
because I thought it was. I was going to say. Oh, for goodness sake. Give me that. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know now. Uh, 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 there's, a, there's a lot of you folks that, that ordinarily hear from, but we ain't got a letter from you. I want to know what's the matter wait with you. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, Don't fuss at them about it. They ain't come on in soon enough, eh? Uh, uh, Here, let me have it. Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Uh, serious, folks. Uh, this is about the last time we get to talk to you about the contest, and, and me and Abner do hope you send in a name for a store, and I want you to know that we both appreciate it a lot. Thank you. for Lum and Abner and Horace. We'll now bid you all goodbye until Monday at the same time.